the tower dome and that giant's playground. The upright pillar and the second stone touch in a section about this large. I had a geologist here one time and he was explaining geologically how all this was very natural, how it was like any other rock, until he got here. And he started calculating the weight of granite of the top stone, estimated weight of the second stone. Now it was balanced on a very small area. And he finally said, nature can't do this. So this is, whole complex is set up like a grid, like, like a street with houses on it. Each of the square areas is rectangular in shape from above. You can see the rectangles. So it's very linear. It also lines up on another grid line, again with the dolmens. This is the second element in a huge grid line, and they're exactly, exactly placed on a line. This is number two. Pipestone is number one. Above me is the capstone of the tower dolmen. Here we have two different types of stones right next to each other, completely different stone qualities with a small capstone on top of it. But here you have red and white, that almost looks like a clay type figure right next to granite. My husband, Bill Ryder, found Giant's Playground. He saw the light coming through this tunnel on a motorcycle ride, brought me back on Valentine's Day and the light was coming through the tunnel, so we saw this from the road, climbed up, and this was, this was how we got into Giant's Playground the first time. 